going on YouTube? The Pipe Professor here. Coming at you today to answer Jay's 2018 10 questions. Uh, I do this every year. Love this little segment that he uh, puts on. But before we get into all that, let's do a little housekeeping. I'm smoking my Cornell and Deal Gentleman Cobbler pipe. Excellent smoker. By Missouri Mearsham. And in it, I'm smoking some Robert McConnell Scottish Flake. I haven't made up my mind about this blend yet. It's good, no doubt. It's very good. But is it worth a spot on the top five top top five pipe tobaccos this year? We'll see. Anyway, Jay's ten questions. Uh, if you don't participate, Jay is well known across YouTube and the pipe community. Dig H S X is his handle on YouTube. He's got a big beard. Bald as Mr. Clean on top. Go check him out. He's been posting a lot about his project Millie, uh, which is his he's redoing his Jeep that he purchased. So um not completely pipes and cigars so much now, but you you know still does a lot of that stuff. Great guy in general, awesome mind. So, but I'm going to answer his ten questions. So, uh, I do this every year, and each year I always go back and watch the previous year just to kind of do a comparison. It's just really neat, it's unique. So, question number one: What do the following items cost where you live? One gallon of milk. A gallon of milk's dollar ninety nine, two dollars for a gallon. A gallon of gas uh, filled up today at two forty a gallon, which when I went back to 2016's video and watched it was only a buck, buck forty. So it's gas is a lot higher two years now today than it was two years ago. Uh, Fifty grams of tobacco, uh, that too seems to have gone up uh, a good. Let's say a, a 50 gram or two ounce tin of tobacco at a brick and mortar is going to run you about twenty dollars now. Uh, with all the taxes and everything. Uh, one cigar, a uh, good cigar, 10 to 12 bucks. Uh, a large one topping pizza. Again, pizza seems to be on the opposite end of the spectrum with gasoline. Gasoline goes up, pizza prices go down with all the deals. But you can get like a $5 Little Caesars hot and ready pizza for five bucks. You know, Papa John's here in Kentucky. Uh, Domino's, they always run deals, you know, two large two topping pizzas for eight bucks. So, you know, is it four dollars a pizza or is it just the deal? So, you know, less than ten bucks, certainly. A dozen of eggs. Well, uh, if you're like me, I shop at Aldi, so a dozen of eggs is anywhere between 49 cents and 69 cents, which beats the hell out of your supermarket stores like Walmart and Kroger. So, if you shop right, you can save a little bit of money. Question number two. Talking too much. If you could only talk to one person the rest of your life, who would it be? Damn, good question. Now, I don't prepare my answers prior to this to answer. I just turn on the video camera and start to go. You know, I, everyone wants to, you know, the natural a response would be, well, it would be my spouse or my wife, but... Sometimes I don't want to talk to her now. Um, love you, sweetie. If you're watching this. She's not. Um, I think I would probably make it, and, and this is the hard part, I would make it one of my kids. I would want to talk to one of my children. Which one, though? I don't know. I have four kiddos. Hmm. I mean, if I have to go off of their age right now, it will be the oldest, my oldest kiddo, because obviously he can carry on a conversation, understand, respond, communicate. Um, 
the second kiddo, he could do the same, and he's hilarious. Uh, he'd be good to talk to also. My, my oldest child is very, very intelligent, very, very dry sense of humor. The second one is kind of a goofball. The third one, third boy is, it's only two. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our newborn little girl. So she couldn't really have conversation. But if I had to pick one, it would be one of my kiddos. Man, I don't know which one. I mean, I just, I can't pick. It's like saying it's your favorite kid. So, but it would probably be one of my kids. What is your greatest hope? Hmm. That's another good question. My greatest hope. This video very, very well may be me sitting here pontificating and smoking a pipe for a little bit. Pardon me. You know, my greatest hope is, I'm going to, again, I'm going to go back to my kiddos. You know, you asked me this question 10 years ago. My greatest hope would, you know, have a successful job, you know, live in a nice place, la, la, la. Which I, I have those things, I would say. But, you know, now that you, I do have kids and I focus on my kids and what's important, my greatest hope is that they are each healthy and successful and have good, long, you know, happy, fulfilling lives. That's my greatest hope, is that they can make better decisions than I did at some points in my life and are very successful themselves and happy throughout their whole life. Uh, that they don't have to put up with hardships. Um, you know, granted, our hardships are first world problems, right? But um, that they can just, you know, they have an easy, not an easy life, but um, don't have to overcome some complications that, that I've had to overcome and that a lot of people have to overcome on a daily basis. So that, that would be my greatest hope. And I probably should have said something like world peace, but I'm going to be selfish. So, sorry. Uh, what time do you normally eat dinner? Well, I'm on the Eastern time zone. I typically eat between uh, 5.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. So in that two-hour window. And really what it has to do with is, A, uh, what, we're, what we're cooking, what we're preparing. And yes, uh, we as a family still have that the tradition of we all sit down at the table together for dinner each night. Uh, we don't eat a lot of fast food. We don't eat out a lot. We cook our own meals. Uh, we you know, have a garden where we grow our own food, a lot of our own food, which you know, a lot of you may do the same thing. But that is becoming less and less typical uh, nowadays. So... Um, but we do. Every night we, we sit down at the dinner table and have dinner as a family. So depending on what we're eating, what's going on, if, you know, something's going on at, at school or I have a late lecture or, you know, my wife's working over something, it could push dinner back. But we always try to eat between 5.30 and really 7 o'clock at night. What's one thing you wish you were better at? Smoking and talking? No, I'm just kidding. Mmm. This is no secret. If you've ever watched my videos, uh, I think I've already, I've even talked about this before. Well, you know, I, oh, yeah. I wish I was better at uh, using tools, being able to build things, use my hands. Um, so, for example, Jay's working on his car, Millie, right now. Um, there's no way I could ever even begin a project like that. I know jack diddly about cars. Um, although, I will say, I have been getting better. I, I changed out my garage door motor. And I know some of you are going to be like, oh, whoopee, skippy. But that was a big deal for me. Um, this past year, I built a gaming table that is 8 foot by 3 and a half foot. Um, so I was kind of proud of that. Built the legs, built it from scratch, everything. So that's I'm getting better. I'm getting a little better. So I was, wish I was better at using tools, building things, mechanics, things of that nature. But I can read and write like a champ. Oh boy. World comes to an end. Not the guy you want. What did you worry about today? Question number six. Um, what did I worry about today? Hmm. Uh, I, 
well, there's two things I worried about today. First off is my, my second kiddo. He has asthma really, really bad, uh, which is one of the main reasons I, I could choose a designated spot in our house and actually probably smoke inside. And when my wife and I first got married, I did smoke inside. I smoked cigars and pipes inside the house. When we had our first kid, um, our house really wasn't big enough and it was brand new. We didn't, I didn't like smoke smell. Um, but the main reason I really smoke outside or outdoors, which um, one day I'll show you guys this, this area. This is an enclosed outdoor porch that I, that I, most of my videos are filmed on or at. So I really don't put out, put up with the elements. So it's technically like I'm inside. Um, so, cause it could storm rain, whatever. It is not aired or cooled out here. So I have to do that myself. In the summertime, I just open up all the windows and it's beautiful. Uh, in the winter, I have a little radiator heater, which there's one right here because hell, it was 70 yesterday here in Kentucky and now they're calling, I think 10 inches of snow tomorrow. So, um, but I worry about his asthma. Um, and he's been having some flare-ups, and I don't know if it's just because of the, the um, turning of the season, stuff's blooming out and things, and so you know, I'm worried about worry about that today. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Cause I don't want this video to be too long, but that's what I worried about today. Do you, do you think you have a text message? Oh damn. Um, sorry. Do you think there's life on other planets? Uh, you know. I'm sure there's some kind of microorganism on other planets and cell that has cells and whatever not. And sure, why not? You know, I, I don't know. I, I am I'm a believer in God, and you know, the Bible doesn't reference any kind of life on other planets or anything like that. Uh, not to mean that it not to mean that it can't happen or it hasn't happened. There you go. Uh, but um, I, when you say life, like humans walking, talking, interacting, no, I don't think so. Uh, people will say, well, it's such a vast universe. Sure it is, you know, but, um, I just don't think we are human beings and on earth by chance. I just don't think this is all just one in a 500 gazillion chance at all. I don't know. I just have trouble believing that. And other people will argue that I have trouble believing that some man lives up in the clouds, right? So, or whatever your prerogative may be. To each his own. Uh, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. We just, you know, can believe different things. So, um, no, I don't. I, maybe there's microorganisms on other planets, sure, but actual life like we are or know it, no. Nah. Question number eight. Would you rather go for a ride in a supersonic car or a supersonic plane? Um, I would say, I don't like flying, uh, so I would say car, and I'm going to say car, even though it's probably more dangerous than a car, but I'm going to actually piggyback off your answer, Jay. Uh, I think you can feel, you would be able to feel how fast that really is in a car, versus in a plane, I mean, if you've ever flown anywhere, which if you haven't, get with the program, um, but, you know, then you move it like, you know, what, 800 mile an hour, 1,000 mile an hour, 500 mile an hour, you just, feels like you're going 30, you know what I mean? So I don't think you'd be able to get the full effect in a plane, whereas you would in a car. So uh, I'm going to go supersonic car on this one. Question nine, would you erase half of your memories for a million dollars? Side note, they will be erased randomly. Now, I have a sure answer for this. hundred million dollars? No. Uh, no, I would not want to erase half of my memories. In fact, uh, I don't think there's any amount of money. And I know that sounds ludicrous, but there's no amount of money um, that I would take from my mind. I had this conversation with other people um, and I've, with, with my wife and buddies before. I really, really hope as I age and when I get older that, you know, some people... Their body goes first. They lose physical capability of their body and what they can control and can't control. Some people lose, you know, their mind with Alzheimer's and, um, you know, dementia, things like that. If I have to choose, I really hope my body goes before my mind. I never want to lose my mind. I think that would just be one of the worst things ever. Um, I've seen people, my wife's grandmother, suffers from Alzheimer's. 
and it's one of the saddest things that you can ever see and experience just to sit in a room with people and not not know who any of them are and they're your closest family members they're the people that, that that care for you and that have loved you for years and years and years and you're just lost and confused and and scared no way uh couldn't pay me enough money to take my mind. So uh, I really hope I get to keep my mind uh, my entire life, and I would much rather have it than, than physical capabilities. All right, question 10. In the last year, what was your best day? In the last year. Now, so there's two ways to look at that. From this calendar date, like April, the, what is it, the 5th? April the 5th to April the 5th? Is that the calendar year or January one? you know, to January 1. Either or, it's, you know, relative. Um, but for me, it's easy. Uh, as I said in a previous video, we welcomed our fourth kiddo in February of this past year, um, and it is our first daughter. So I have three little boys and now finally a little girl. So without a doubt, 100% welcoming um, that little sweet pea into the world uh, our first daughter was the best day uh, of the of the past year, easily, easily. Uh, nine months of pregnancy is not always enjoyable or fun, but that day is well worth it. And right now we are really enjoying it. She's cute as could be. So, um, all right, awesome, Jay. Thanks again for putting this on. Uh, go check Jay out of his channel. He does have a Patreon too. Um, if you got a couple extra bucks and you want to throw his way, I, I you. I know that it's appreciated, and he would appreciate it, and uh, he's just an all-around good guy. Jay, if you're ever in Kentucky, uh, in the Lexington area of Kentucky, um, shoot me a message if you know you're going to be around. We sh um, I will gladly welcome you over, cook you one of those nice home-cooked meals. We could drink some good bourbon, enjoy some pipes and cigars. So, uh, all right, that's going to do it. Hope everyone's doing well. Golly, 17 minutes. Sorry, guys, but until uh, next time, see you on down the road. Take care. Cheers.